Hi, Anne. Howdy, Annette. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Hey, functionally fit friends out there. Hello, functionally <laughs> fit you're friends. You're all doing well too. Uh, so let's just catch up. We let's talk about what's been going on. What's new? I think this will just be a catch up episode. Yeah, it's uh, been a while. I know. I had some interesting things happen this week. I guess. Ooh. <laughs> well, first of all, I got as in a- like PR interesting. No, as in definitely Medicare ready moments. <laughs> <laughs> that sort of interesting. But you know, we can't have a PR every week. <laughs> this is we are not 22. No. <laughs> uh we are both at least twice 22. <laughs> not more. Um, yeah, so I mean the first cool thing, I got my own weight belt. <laughs> <gasps> It's it's from Two Poon and it's black and sparkly, but I learned there is a learning curve, which surprised me. With the with a weight belt, with a weight belt, yeah. I so oh. now I thought the first thing when I got it, I was like, oh, they have petite belts. That's cool, like three inches, which I guess is a little bit shorter, so it you know fits between your hips and ribs better okay uh so I was all set to order that and I did my measurement and then I looked and I was like wait you mean I'm not petite (laughs) like I was too big oh my goodness (laughs) like I'm five one I'm always petite but apparently not for this like I guess my belly's just a little bit substantial so I had to get the regular one um like a small size and I'm mean, used to be in an extra small, like in pants, but I don't know. Um, and I wasn't sure. I was like, well, they tell you to measure around, you know, the widest part, like, I guess, you're, you know, around your belly button or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I didn't know, well, am I supposed to just be like neutral, like hanging out oh, or, like, or like sucking it in, like I'm doing something. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if you're like trying to like brace. Yeah, so I kind of erred on the side of I'm just going to like stand here and not brace or anything. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I was supposed to do that, but it does fit. But the thing is, it like I just found myself hitting it on the way up, on the way down. Oh, no. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. I fell over when I like (laughs) <laughs> I don't know it just threw me off balance and then I took it off and I was fine Weird. so it's gonna take um I'm gonna have to yeah break it out another time and practice with it or something what were you using that it for weird. uh cleans so we did a workout I think it was Tuesday that was you went to a maximum watts you know so on the bike just like however long it took to see the max watts. And then when it decreased, you knew, okay, that was, that was it. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you do max watts and then two cleans at, I think 70% and then just rest two minutes and do it eight times. Oh, so I don't know. I, and I had to, I was like, I, you know, by the time I get to maximum watts, like, and then stop, I was out of breath already to do the clean so yeah I had to catch my breath a little bit so that was probably part of it also but anyway I'm gonna need to practice so I've only used a belt once oh really I used it for front squats okay I I mean I I used it for girls gone rx for practicing the deadlifts and then for doing like both the clean workout and the deadlift workout with it. And it definitely helped. Uh, So that was, um, I mean, that was like a broken in belt from the gym. So I don't know if it's about that or if I, I'm just clumsy this week, which actually I am clumsy this week. (laughs) It can happen. (laughs) You know what I just did? Um, Like literally just before this, I moved what was I even doing? I pushed something back and my ring light fell over, like literally between when we talked before the podcast and when we just talked. And I thought I smashed it. 
But then I was like, oh, all the pieces are just the same exact size. So they're yes. just, um, I didn't smash anything. It, they just came off, but they'll pop right back on. So <laughs> that was okay. I've had a clumsy week. Not because, not necessarily like at the gym, but I have at least five big bruises on my legs. <laughs> so <laughs> how did those like, happen? One of them is on my shin because we started putting weed in in his kennel when we go to bed. So the kennel was next to the bed, but then there was also the comforter was kind of like on the floor. So you I might have like your leg stepped into the- on the comforter and kind of slid while I was trying oh. to like get through. And Mm-mm. it was just me trying to be real fast. I'm just going to yeah. go over here real quick. <laughs> at least and the you- other ones, I don't even know. I was going to say, at least you know how you do it. Cause I know. I get so many bruises and scrapes and things and I'm like, how did I do this? I don't remember yeah. doing anything that hurt or yeah. I, I that's yeah. a phenomenon. Uh it is very strange. Although I, I do I mean I've heard more that it is potentially like an ADHD trait that mm. you have Clumsy. more like you're just not paying attention yeah. to mm. walking around and True. you bump into stuff, which you know, so the week, my peak week, I was not supposed to do any CrossFit workouts because I didn't, <laughs> Victoria's like, <laughs> I don't want you to get any bruises. Yourself. Yes. And I was like, okay, well I then maybe shouldn't just like live life because right. I, okay. so when I told John, he's like, well, you better not come to the shop because I literally right. constantly run into stuff at the shop. Yeah. It's, I, it, even if I walked past it like 12 times, I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> let me tell you about my other clumsy moment. Guess what movement I was doing? Was it like box jumps or, you know, jump rope, swing in stuff or jump rope? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You can guess every CrossFit movement. It was not that. I was walking in the park with my 72 year old friend on a fully paved road oh dear! and I just turned my ankle (laughs) (laughs) and I fell down actually (laughs) were you wearing like dance co clogs or something no no I was wearing my Nike sneakers I mean they were I don't think they were really running sneakers or you know but they were like they're they're casual yeah casual sneakers um yeah I turned I was I know I was facing her to talk about something to tell and then and it it was not a hundred steps into this oh my gosh um and I like I said I fell down and it hurt and I got back up I was like oh my gosh I'm not and my first thought is like, oh, I'm not okay, you know, and like, oh, we have to go back to the car. And then like after a couple of steps back to the car, I was like, wait, it actually doesn't hurt while I walk. <laughs> it was just like a turn, you know. Yeah, you turn it funny and yeah. So um, and then I happened to, you know, have a follow-up visit with Andy scheduled. Oh, nice the next day. Uh, so Thursday. Yeah, for my back. And then I was like, okay, um, can you check out my ankle too? And so he he did, and it was just like a class one sprain. And he just told me some things to how to move it around and like, you know, stand on one leg a few times for the next few days just to make sure that nothing tightens up, you know. Mm-hmm. But, oh my goodness. So but yeah, really, it was like, <laughs> you know, you we do all these difficult thing right and then I'm walking and I can't do that <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness well maybe sometimes when it requires less of your mental energy then you're not as like you know honed in on what's going on with your body mm-hmm. I don't know <laughs> that's yeah. so funny though yeah <laughs> oh my goodness well, yep. I, um, I felt really out of shape, I guess, but not, I guess I wouldn't say out of shape. I had a new, new experience. I was on an echo bike for the first time, 
when I was in Michigan because our gym doesn't have echo bikes. They just have assault bikes. Mm -hmm. And now my brother out in San Diego, that gym, they have an echo bike, but I just like, I rode it for steady state. I didn't try to do sprinting or anything on it. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, oh, this is a nice, comfortable ride. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. Different when you're supposed to like sprint. So it was a partner workout and we had to do a certain amount of cals like trading on and off. And then we were going to do overhead pressing kind of trading on and off. So I think that we were supposed to do 45. So I was like, well, let's do nines and you can start (laughs) because it was a guy. Mm -hmm. And when I got on at first, I'm like, oh, this is so nice. And then I was like, wait, what's happening? What's (laughs) happening? Why is by the time I hit 40 seconds, I was like gasping for air. Yeah. It was intense. I guess it's because that echo bike doesn't spool maybe, or it just seems to like get harder as like. So echo bike still has the arms because you're doing that. Huh. I don't know if I've, have I been on those? Did we encounter any in Austin? Yeah. When we were at the 45 minute Uh AMRAP. Right. (laughs) That one had echo bikes. (laughs) Again, we weren't trying to like go hard on those at that point. Yeah, because we were going for 45 minutes. Yes. <laughs> Not just on the bike, but yeah. And okay. so the lady was like, yeah, great job. And I'm like, <gasps> she's like, yeah, if we have assault, if we're using a wad that has cals for the assault bike, we generally decrease it for the echo bike. I'm like, okay. oh, interesting. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, it was a butt kicker but I'm not out of shape because actually I was the only one who did not gasp for air when carrying the baby up the little sand dune back to the house oh yeah (laughs) everybody else is like she's so heavy and I'm like (laughs) just a little sandbag sandbag. she's like the lightest sandbag she's like a 14 pound wall ball essentially oh yeah yeah. (laughs) that's not hard (laughs) the hard thing isn't the holding the wall ball (laughs) it's the throwing the wall yeah exactly I'm not you don't have to do that with the baby yeah right Mm-hmm. Um, but so I dropped in, this was crazy. I was, had been looking at gyms online cause you know, I was going to be out of town for however, six, seven days. And I needed to go to the gym and I love to drop in. Yeah. And all I'd found was a CrossFit in Grand Haven. I must've been typing in wow. Grand Haven gyms. So okay. I was staying in Spring Lake, yeah. but the thing about it was I was near where my apartment was. So I'm on like the opposite side of the channel from Grand Haven, mm-hmm. which means mm-hmm. everything takes me like double the time to get there now because of wow. where we're staying. So my dad's like, oh, well, you can go to the country club gym for free. <laughs> Perfect. It was so janky. Uh. I was so <laughs> disappointed. Like, uh, wait, y'all have? pay how much? And like, the, I got on the... um treadmill and it had like chunks of it missing it was just Wait, so so ghetto what were the chunks where just, like, your plastic went, chunks or... no like on okay, the edge where good. you're like oh. you, you wouldn't even put your hands there I I don't know where <laughs> it seemed very strange and they had one rack with one barbell very limited weights I mean that was it's not like I needed a ton of weights yeah um, I did go with James and John. John went to the gym with oh, me. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. And we did some bent over rows. And then I made them do some things that they thought were very hard, which is funny. <laughs> and then you were training them, huh? I was training them. Nice. And then um, I did dumbbell curl drop sets. And for the, I mean, I felt them before, but maybe because I was with my brother, <laughs> I just went a little harder because the next day I was like, whoa, I really feel my biceps today. <laughs> um, so I didn't really want to go back there because I didn't want to just hang out in that little disgusting hole, even if it was free. So I typed in gym while I was at the place we were staying at. 
-hmm. seven minutes away, Spring Lake oh. CrossFit. Oh, super. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, they don't even have a sign. So oh. I guess they have about 75 members total. And that includes okay. their coaches. Yeah. Huge. Like it's bigger than our shop. Um, nice, big space, really clean. And so the first day was basically this speed thing. Blech. And then mm -hmm. I just, after that, they had programmed something like squat squats, I think, but I had our, or like goblet type squats, but I had done those the day before. So I did reverse barbell lunges, which is, you know, fun. Mm -hmm. And then I went back the next morning for the nine o'clock class and it was so fun. We did 10 rounds. No, excuse me. Six rounds. Yeah. Six, but it was <laughs> two hundred. run 200, come back in and do 10 toes to bar. I did five because oh, I, I still it. have to double kip. Uh -huh. It takes me oh, longer. Okay. And then three power cleans. And then you do that six times for time. Oh, I and I didn't workout. think I was going to make it in my mm. time cap, but what I did. The time cap. Yay. Oh, I don't Now I don't remember what okay. the time cap was. That's 20 right. minutes, maybe? I don't have a, that's what I was thinking, but I, I don't have a good concept anyway of how long. There were some me. like <laughs> younger girls that I think they thought maybe they could have done it in 18 or something. I did keep track of like each round on a whiteboard because I'm a nerd, mm -hmm. but I did, I chose to do 85 pounds for my power nice. cleans yeah. and it felt so good, but my traps were like sore for days. Oh, wow. And it was just really fun. And then they did farmer's carries with, um, like straight leg sit-ups at the end. So it was great, but I was really bummed. They did not have a t-shirt that I could purchase. Oh, what? I know. She's like, oh, we don't really have them. We just like put in an order once a year and people order oh, stuff. Okay. Yeah. What about, you know, then I'm like, okay, well, this is a tiny little gym that doesn't even have a sign anywhere. They're probably not getting a lot of drop in. You know, I think we might have more people now, but w I think we only had 75 not that long ago. Okay. And we had t shirts. <laughs> okay. I'm, I got my whiteboard thing out. It was, I think the time cap was 26 oh, and I finished okay. at 2540. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Just in under the time cap. Good. Again, I'm yeah. one of the olds, like yeah. all the other people were like under 30. How many cleans were there again? Just three. Yeah. That's what I thought you said. Okay. Cool. That yeah. It was fun. just like a fun nice people. Yeah. I didn't get to like chat with anybody. And I do okay. wonder, you know, oh my gosh, I was wrong. It was 10 rounds. <laughs> okay. Ten. Yeah. I was like, that sounds like a lot of time to do six rounds. Okay. <laughs> Duh, <Anne. laughs> yeah. That's a lot of work then. 10. It was yeah, a lot of work. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. It felt so good though. Cool. Nothing like, you know, you just get to sweat in and especially as I was mentioning before off recording, I don't know how you say that. Just how sometimes when you put yourself back into an, a familiar situation, uh, some of the repeat, the old habits or old patterns can come back. So the old yeah. self-talk patterns and getting a really good sweat in mm -hmm. really can help. It resets you. <laughs> yeah. So much, yeah, okay. but yeah, that was, it was really, I just really love working out. <laughs> I, I sound know. like such a nerd. I know uh, you do. <laughs> but I love the idea of scaling. When, especially when, oh, yeah. go ahead. I was just going to say, especially when you're feeling good, you know? Yes. I, I, I mean, hope not to get right... back there soon. I mean, I it's gotten better the last few weeks, but uh, yeah, it's still like really careful with some things. And yeah, but I'm, I, I mean, it was really nice to be able to swing like uh, last week was okay. I can finally do kipping pull-ups again. Oh, nice. Um, you know, cause I was just too, my back was too not great, you know, but mm -hmm. it's, it's okay now for that. So yeah, I, I think the only thing now I'm really wary of 
deadlifts are still tricky at running and um taking lifts from the ground mm. I'm still just like okay I'm gonna do on boxes until I have no pain and then, yeah 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 I need it for it to get better better now right. <laughs> like enough of this like yeah yeah but, exactly pain-free but I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel I think <laughs> Good. it's not just like a fake light yeah but yeah, uh, it yeah. can be hard when it you're doing it frequently and you're mm -hmm. like checking in with your body like all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Versus if somebody you're like one day you notice, oh, I didn't have any pain doing that. Yeah. Ugh, so um. Nice. So I actually am super stoked. I must have like figured out how to have like a tighter, hollow an arch position a little bit okay. because today's workout was supposed to be 12 pull-ups. Um, mm -hmm. I That's did six mm -hmm. and I did four in a row. Yes. And they were That's all great. like quality. Yeah. So we had worked on them earlier this week and I was doing threes and I was like, Oh, mm -hmm. I noticed that if I like keep my feet, it was just a different feeling. Mm -hmm. And I could get my chin like ab above the bar versus being like, Ugh. <laughs> and it was really having to do with like keeping all that keeping everything tight. tight maybe, yeah. maybe I was like loosening up a little too much, you yeah. know, being like, woo, woo. yeah, that's part of like when I was, yeah, my back was just like, I was too loose. Um, so last time we did it, I was like, just focused on, oh, I'm not even going to let everything go back that far you know I'm just keeping mm -hmm. keeping my butt tight and not even arching that because I I can do a big swing and then just kind of not really engage enough of the muscles that should be um I yeah I found when I was learning them and stringing them together what helped me the most was just focusing on pushing out really mm. uh, at the top just pushing out really hard um rather than just because like if I didn't focus on that I would more just like drop down and then not yeah. have a good swing mm -hmm. that makes a lot of sense yeah so when I'm done with this like during the winter my I I would like to really focus on like a toes to bar as well because mm -hmm. I obviously I can do them but it's like I double every time so yeah. right I can like kip into like one but then I have to like do re-kip I think I think you're I think you can do it now you I just, just have, have my to... body has not figured out the rhythm for yeah. it right it's like yeah. a certain kind of it's I I keep yeah. thinking of this girl Siobhan at my gym hers are so pretty and mm -hmm. like so perfectly like she mm -hmm. definitely is pushing down yeah. because her, she comes back for her toes yeah. to come up. And it's like, mm -hmm. I just have to right. figure out how to do yeah, that. Yeah. That's what I do too. Yeah. Just focus on pushing down, pushing. do, do some just big kipping swings where not, not like that the swing is big, but that the, the forward part is really okay. pushed down. Um, and then I would say, ask Brittany, like what, you know, to look at you and to say like, what am I not doing that I need to do to she did do say in a row? Pushing down. Push down. Yeah. Yep. So just work on like some swings where you push down. Yeah. A lot. Cause yeah, that does take strength. It does. And it's a little bit of a different way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a different yeah. kind of strength. And I feel like we did a lot of stuff with grip this week. So my hands mm. were like, ooh. Because yeah. one of the days we did kettlebells <laughs> and they were 53 pounds. Ooh. It's just like no, a lot. I have not ever picked one of those up. I'm pretty sure. I, I, I don't it was so. the RX, but I didn't count mm. my workout as RX because they did American swings. And oh, I just wow. I can't even think of putting a 53 pounds swinging that over my head. Like that's scary to me. <laughs> I just, yeah. Well, I don't really like doing, I, for 
ergonomic reasons. Yeah. <laughs> I prefer the American swing. Or bleh, yes. The Russian swing. Yeah, same. And, and I chose the 40, excuse me, I chose the 53 because we weren't doing front rack carry. So we did just single arm farmers carry. And sometimes we do front rack. I wouldn't have been able to do mm -hmm. 30 meters of a 53 like this. Oh, God, no. That would be really <laughs> intense. Yeah. But I just love swinging a heavy, heavy kettlebell. So that's why I did 53. Nice. Yeah. That was a running one as well. Okay. Uh -huh. I am loving the balance that I feel right now with doing some bodybuilding stuff. And I feel like I'm finally starting to like see some improvements in my CrossFit stuff. Mm -hmm. I think it's also being smarter. So today's workout, you were supposed to run, it was six rounds. That's why I had six in my head. 400 meters, come in, do the 12 pull-ups and then get on the bike for at least wow. a minute. <gasps> and then that was four minutes. And then you had a minute rest. And I was like, there's no way I can do all that. I I just run slower. Mm -hmm. So I chose at the beginning and Brittany was like, yep, run 300. Mm -hmm. yeah. I did 300 meters. Mm -hmm. And that was a really smart choice for me. Mm -hmm. Like, right. I still felt like I was pushing myself. I still could like increase, I guess I decreased my time running each round. Ooh, um, that's good. Right. You got faster. Yeah. yeah I got faster. I just got yeah. more comfortable. Okay. Um, I, by the end though, my, I don't only was doing the six kipping pull-ups and they were, it was getting harder to do pull-ups. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't, so it's yeah. crazy to watch people who just like come in from a run and like pop up and just start going. Yeah. I just, I'm like, I don't have the quick reset. I don't know if that'll ever happen yeah. for me or. <laughs> well, say so like the pull-ups put you out of breath as well as yeah. running so it's like whew, starting on a when you're out of breath it's hard yeah mm -hmm. I even so on the Saturday when people were doing the they'd go run toes to bar to power clean people were just like picking up the bar and I'm like mm -hmm. I gotta like get my feet right make mm -hmm. sure my hands are in this right mm -hmm. space yeah I'm the same way don't well, rush me very <laughs> deliberate yeah, <laughs> yeah. which yeah. I just, I don't want to hurt myself. So yeah. well, right. does your belt have any pink sparkles in it or is it just black? No, sparkles? no, it's, it's sequins. So I okay. know I said sparkles, but yeah. Uh, but all black sequins. Yeah. I mean, I was tempted, you know, I was, um, tempted by the hot pink sparkle or hot pink sequin one, but I was like, that's a little bit flashy for my gym and probably any gym. And oh no, I'm like, pretty sure that somebody at my gym has one. <laughs> yeah. I just, she does kind of look like a Barbie though. So it kind of okay. just matches. Yeah. I was like, I think this is not going to be practical if I got the pink one. <laughs> like at some point I'll feel self-conscious or you know, <laughs> it is kind of a like, Hey, look at me. I have a rainbow exactly. around my body. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need, yeah. I'm not asking people to look at me that much in class. So yeah, that would be a bit much, but yeah, yeah do I, you... I like how it looks. I just, you know, I kind of get used to it. It was yeah. very awkward. I just have to get used to it. <sighs> yeah. That's one of those things. You got to break it in today. We got, um, or excuse me, this week, the gym has a new friend, a ski erg. Oh, wow. So I decided to do my 30 minutes of steady state and get to know the ski erg. Mm -hmm. Wow. You did 30 minutes of ski erg? I did. Ooh, how was it? I was really sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> I put my heart monitor on because steady state, I guess you're supposed to stay in like the green zone or zone two. I didn't, I was a little, I was above that, but mm -hmm. it, it was interesting because you're not like using those legs like norms. It's a lot that of that, isn't it? Yeah. 
-hmm. So I was also thinking about my obliques and like tightening my stomach mm -hmm. while I would pull. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, that was 5,500 meters of skiing. Wow. And it got downhill. a little boring. <laughs> not downhill. Yeah. Um, I meant to ask, is the bathroom situation sort of new? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, it okay, is. Good. And we yeah. have three bathrooms now Ooh, instead of two. Excellent. There's one that's like tucked away in the back of like <laughs> privacy. The, uh like mechanical area where you can keep like mop bucket and stuff. And that's fantastic because you're like, mm -hmm. nobody even knew I was in here. <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed they all have a toilet brush now, <laughs> which That's is funny. also yeah. wonderful. Yeah, definitely. Who wants to be but carrying it, a toilet brush back and forth? I know it's embarrassing. <laughs> they, yeah. the, these, well, the two kind of more towards the front, somebody went in the other day and they're like oh my gosh it's like a club in there so if you go in when the music's like actually like pumping mm -hmm. because it's a little bit smaller it is definitely like <laughs> in the bathroom wow well we should put like a little disco club ball in here. yes <laughs> i dare i dare you to sneak one in oh my gosh i should totally <laughs> should and then the other day i guess somebody got caught what do they call it in the little crossfitters room mm. they're like i got stuck in the crossfitters room little crossfitters room when the buzzer went off like, <laughs> um we did have this is a very it was a very fun night a wine night at oh. our gym oh, wow. one of our members courtney is a sommelier and mm. she is a sales rep for a company and we had a little bubbly wine and then white wine and red wine it was Ooh. very fun. And I got to make a charcuterie table. Oh, wow. <laughs> so if anybody wants to hire me to make their charcuterie tables, <laughs> I can send you a picture. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it was funny because people were not eating at first. You know, yeah. I didn't know everybody and there were some people that knew more people. So, uh -huh. but it's just a, at the beginning, kind of like awkward. Who do I talk yeah. to? What do I do? Finally, I'm like, okay, everybody start eating now. Yeah. <laughs> and then it got to the end and there's so much food. I was like, I'm not taking all this. And if you're going to the bar, here's a little bag, put <laughs> food in it to take with you. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was very fun. Mm. And it was interesting to just meet more of the yeah. People that come, we actually got 25 new members in August. So okay. there's more Even and more bigger. new faces mm -hmm. that you're like, wow, who are you? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. We, I guess we've had more people too. We, uh, have our 7am class back again that went oh, away nice. for a little while. And now, yeah. 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 And I, you know, I used to go sometimes, but now I'm like, you know, I think I'm comfortable in my routine. Oh, I love my <laughs> I nine o'clock. Want to do the seven in it? Yeah. Well, I mean, again, the seven, I mean, you totally have to. It's like I have yeah. to do it before breakfast, and I don't know. I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> I like my re morning routine now. Yeah, I love a nine o'clock class. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And today, all the pregnant ladies were there. Well, were they all there? One too. Uh, the ladies that just had a little girl. Oh yeah. And Lauren had a gr little girl. And then the two ladies that are pregnant are just announced they're having little girls. So it's like uh, a gym full of like baby girls, girls right now, which <laughs> wow. is very cute because yeah. baby girl clothing is so much more fun to buy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they just make cuter stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, there are cute like boy things, but they're just limited. I don't, I don't know if they're yeah. just, they don't do enough cool prints yeah, or something. It's not that right. I would want like a boy to wear a dress. It's more of like, why do they not have like interesting color combinations? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be like a little rude and just say I'm bored with this conversation <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to talk about little kids clothing. 
<laughs> yeah, and the charcuterie charcuterie um, talk got me hungry. So yeah, it is definitely time to I eat think more it's food. Time. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, this was fun. Good catch up. Yes, I'm glad that your back is feeling better and you see Thank the light you. at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Thanks, and I'm glad you're you know enjoying your CrossFit and feeling like you're improving again. Yeah. So, all right. Well, friends out there, friends, you need to remember. Yes, please remember. <laughs> <laughs> friends, friends, help, help friends, friends stay, stay fit. fit. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs>